Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on using notifications for mail. So today we're going to focus on mail notification settings. If you want to learn more about the whole notification center and um, settings for other things besides mail, check out our tech bit called iPhone iPad Notification Center. Right, and so working along the, the, our other video, you, you know from watching that, if you have, um, that notifications are in settings. Yeah. So if I tap on settings, and they're right here. And the nice thing about notifications, um, it's a little bit different than on a computer, where on a computer, whatever app you're in will have preferences that you can change and stuff. On here, on the iPad and iPhone, right. it's all here. And notifications are not by app, they're all in one area, right. which I think is great. Right. And, and yeah. And what it allows you to do is is notify you right. in a number of different ways. Right. And why would you want to do that for mail? Right. Well, for, oh, so yeah. We'll so I was going to about... show you. These are the apps, and we'll go down and we'll find the mail. Right. Now, why would you want to? These are all the apps that you can do notifications for. Right. Which I try to turn off. You'll notice when you download an app, it always asks you, can I send notifications? Oh, I know, and then you're always getting all those things. So you had to yeah. scroll quite a ways down to find mail. Yeah. Now, why would you want to use a notification for mail? Right. Um, let's say you're waiting for an important email. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make sure that you know that it's there, and you don't want to always look back and forth. In you don't want to be checking program. your email no. all the time. Right. And um, I'm the type of person that I like to know when my emails come in. So if I'm right. on my device... I like to have notifications coming in, even if I'm not specifically waiting for one. Oh, okay, okay, great. So I do that, yep. or definitely if you're waiting for something important, and there's different styles that we're gonna look at for you to get notified. Great, perfect. So first of all, you can see when we went into it, the first thing is allow notifications, which makes sense, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you wanna turn that turn on. Turn that on, otherwise, if you turn it off, you don't get any options. Right. <laughs> so you wanna make sure you have that turned So that's on. a good thing to point out. If you don't like notifications in your mail program at all, just turn, turn it, it off. off. Right. Then after that, below that, it will list your mail accounts. Right. Here, right here, we're only showing one mail account for filming. Right. Uh, if we had more accounts, they would be listed here. Right. And then these other two options we're going to take a look at after we look at the general notifications. They're more specific. Right. So. Right. So we're going to go into our first account. And so if you had more than one account, you're going to have to customize each, each account. One. Right. On its own. You can't like group them together and set them all right. the same. Right. I wish they had an all I know. accounts so, feature. But so we're going to go into our first account, right. our only account in this case. Right. And here's the screen that we see here. And up here, the first one is uh, Show and Notification Center, which, if I swipe down, that's the Notification Center. Right. And we have a separate tech bit all on that. Right, that we mentioned earlier. And you may or may not want them to show up there, um, and then you just swipe it back up. Right. And so you can turn that on or off. Yeah. Because I generally that's, have it off. Yeah, cause, because I don't really need to see them there. No. That's one way some people might want to just look at their notification right. center to see mail. But, right. Um, <clears throat> then below that is you can pick a sound, like right. you can in so many other things, a way that you know you want it to sound when it comes in. We're just going to leave it there. Right. And then here, this is a badge app icon. What that means, it's the notification when we're out here. I can show you quick. Yeah. Right there, that little red circle, you can see it in different places, but here it is on the mail app, telling you how many unread emails that you have. Uh-oh, we have 21 unread emails. You better watch our video and get control of your email. <laughs> better. Three-part series. That's right. <laughs> okay. And the last one is show on your lock screen. If I had that turned on, it would mean if I, um, whatever alert I'm going to set up, will come on um, when you're at your lock screen. Even if your phone's not on, right. it's just sitting there, it'll pop up and show you you got an email. Which this I might use a lot when, it, like if I'm in a meeting, and right. but I'm still waiting for <clears throat> something, or I'm in a conversation with someone, but I really need to know, but I don't, I don't want to be rude or, and keep looking at my phone. Right, right. I can just have it sitting next to me, and I know that it will pop up on the lock screen. Yep, that's a great use. And then down here, we have the different type of alert styles. Again, if you read the gray text, we're always pointing that out. It tells you what this is, right. alert style. And the first one is none. So right. if I had that, it would be nothing. Right, there would be no specific The next alert. one is banners, and that is that <clears throat> banner 
that goes across the top. I'm sure you've probably seen it. Right. And the last one is called alerts. And a banner, if I go back to banner, it will come up for a few seconds and then go away. Oh, and now look, I've changed it to alerts right. style. And what this one does, unlike the banner, which comes up and leaves after a few seconds, this one comes up and stays until you take some action take on it. Take action on it. And I just sent that email, just so y'all know. Right. Just, I just sent it. So that, you just sent it. Yeah, it's it magic. Didn't, it didn't just pop up when she did alerts. <laughs> But, um, so I'm going to have to decide do I want to close that or options that I'll show you in a second. But here's, uh, to look at is, uh, it shows you who it's from and then I'm a VIP. You can see the star and it's giving me a preview of the email. Right. And then look at the options that you have too. Right. You go in there. What do I want to do? Do I want to open that email, throw it in the trash, mark it as read, or close it? <laughs> that I'm just going to me up, throw it in the trash. I'm going to trash that. <laughs> trash it. I don't <laughs> want that email. I don't want to care about those silly. people. Silly. Anyway. So for right now, I'm just going to close it. Right. But she knows that it came, right. so that's great. And then alert would stay up until I until you do something. Did something with it. Right. Or you right. get another alert. We've run into that before too. If you get more than one, they'll just come on top oh, of each right, other. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> and just stay there forever. Yeah. All right, so those are the different styles. <clears throat> and then this, this is where you can do a uh, show a preview. Right. Do you want to show a preview of, um, a little preview of what the email is about? A sentences. If it's a short email, like the last one, it just showed the whole thing. Right. You may want to turn that off if, you, if you're expecting a sensitive email. Um, you may not oh, right. want, if you're with a other people. A secret email, you have something you, fun. You just want to know what's coming. <laughs> right, because if it shows on your lock screen and mm -hmm. someone you don't want to see it sees it, they might see what the email is about, right. too. So you might want to turn that off, and that's right. just easy to do. Great. Okay. Now let's take a look at um, one other option that you have. These are a little bit more advanced options. If you have set up someone as a VIP, a very important person in your mail program, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> again, you can check out our tech bit on... Getting control of your mail. Getting control of your we mail. About, talk about VIPs. Talk all about that. The organize it, the first one. Right. <clears throat> and here, when we go into it, we have all those same notifications that Karen just went through but here for our VIPs. So mm. maybe you don't have any notifications on for your general mail, but you have it on for your VIPs. Oh, that's awesome. So you can pick it by person, really. Right. Well, oh, no, it's no, by everyone who's a VIP. Everyone who's a VIP. But that's okay, because if they're VIPs, you probably want to know when an email right. comes through them. And you have all the same things. You could have a separate sound for your VIPs. Um, right. You can show them on the lock screen. Maybe you wouldn't show uh, general email on the right. lock screen, but you would show your VIPs, and you probably want it to be alerts. Um, you may oh, or may right. want to. So you can treat your VIPs like VIPs. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then also, another cool thing is you can treat thread notifications the same way. And a thread notification is, um, <clears throat> let's say that you're, you're emailed five people, and as the replies come in, they're kept in like an email thread. And we talk about that in our getting control of your email as well, yep. I think in part two, mm -hmm. um, perhaps part three, maybe part three. I think it's part yeah. three, advanced features. And um, that's a nice thing to know because you're waiting to hear back from everybody. And you know you can't take action maybe until you've heard from everybody. So maybe you want your thread notifications okay. to show up as alerts. So you can treat those <clears> separate. <throat> and that does that right. do it as... Every thread that you yeah, have? Yeah, unfortunately it's every thread. I wish you could pick a specific thread. Mm. Or maybe you don't want notifications for the threads. Maybe maybe they're get a annoying. lot of chatter maybe if you, a bunch of people Yeah, maybe your your threads are not important. They're yeah. just, you know, a lot of people talking and you don't want to be no you don't want to be bothered by them. Right. <clears throat> so it could work either way. So so, yeah, that's uh, the mail notifications. Right. And you did mention Karen that we do have um, a three-part series we recently put up yep. on Email, getting control of your email. It's a great series. Right, part one. A little is, bit longer videos, a little yep. more in depth. Right, and we get into the Macintosh as well. Um, yep. and, and so there's part one is organize, organize it. it. Part, part two, two is, is reducing stress. Right, which is a great. Email could be very stressful. Yep, we'll show you how to make it less mm -hmm. stressful. And then part three is advanced uh, techniques, techniques, which there are like, quite a lot of advanced things you can do with the mail are, program that a lot, of, a lot of people know about. That's right. So. So that's our tech bit on using notifications for mail in iOS. Thanks for watching this Sync Sisters tech bit. And please subscribe to our channel.